this is Rob from robcubbon.com here and I'm going to update my site which is on the Genesis framework to HTML5. HTML5 is more future-proof, it brings several improvements in usability and user experience, it's better for video and audio, and it provides a cleaner, more semantic markup. Now, semantic markup means it's using special HTML tags to describe what kind of content they contain. So this provides very clean HTML, which is something all SEOs and developers should aspire to. And I'll explain that better here by showing you some new tags in HTML5. First of all, here's one called header and followed by nav. And before that would have been just a div ID and it may have been div ID equals header and it may have been div ID equals nav. But the fact is now the search engine robots will have absolutely no doubt as to what the contents are. The sidebar is now an aside tag and down the bottom what used to be a div id equals footer is now of course just marked up with the tag of footer. So that's the first immediate difference you can see when enabling HTML5 onto Genesis sites. But there is another much more important factor that is coming into play and that is the schema.org markup that will be enabled once we make the change over to HTML5. And I just want to show you something about schema.org. Google and Microsoft and Yahoo have got together to improve the web. And you can see why they want to do it. It's because they'll understand the web pages a lot better if everybody follows these standards. And amongst these standards are microformats. And these are really important because they add extra information to the markup, which is going to be much easier for the computers to read. So whereas before you had an H2 as a heading and a P as a paragraph, with microformats you can add much more information to the markup to denote telephones, addresses, times and all sorts of things. And down here, will using schema.org improve my site's performance in search? And Google says, you may see an increase in traffic. Now, you can't always believe everything Google says, but I think this makes it definitely worth doing if it wasn't worth doing before. So let's get going and change my site to HTML5. Have to say, before you do this, always back up your site, copy the files and copy the database. Make sure you're on version two and above of Genesis. So we're back in the appearance editor and we we'll go to theme functions. In here we just need to paste one line of code in order to change it to HTML5. Here it is, so we'll update that file. And now we'll go back to my site and refresh. And as you can see, it looks like a dog's dinner. It's all over the place. And don't worry, as I showed you earlier, all the tags have changed. There is the old X HTML markup, the HTML4, and all of these div IDs have changed. And so we need to change the CSS. And here is the CSS. I've got 2,500 lines, so I don't have to go through this one by one and change all the tags or the descriptors. I'm going to copy this and go to this site, Cobalt App apps.com and they have a tool for converting the CSS for Genesis to HTML5 tags. So I just paste it in here, click convert CSS, select and copy, go back into the theme editor, select all and paste, update that file. And now if we go back to the site and refresh, and you see it looks a whole lot better. Obviously go around and check all the pages, different templates you have. See this one looks okay. I'm just gonna check the product page because they have different templates as well, but they seem to look okay as well. So I'm pretty happy with it. Check the mobile responsiveness and we can see that works pretty well as well. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. So I just want to show you a bit about the schema support and let's have a look at the HTML. Immediately you'll see we have, of course, the HTML5 doc type. We'll immediately see that the Genesis 2.0 HTML5 markup has a lot of schema markup in it. For example, on the nav tag, the role is navigation and there is a site navigation element item type on it. There's many more of these, for example, as we begin the markup for the the actual blog post, the item type is blog posting and item property is blog post. And you can add item props. So for example, on your contacts page, 
you can have an item prop for address, an item prop for telephone, an item prop for email, and these will appear as rich snippets in the Google results pages. I believe that Genesis 2.0 with schema support will enhance your site's search engine optimization to show better search results. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That's how you convert a site to HTML5 with Genesis 2.0 and my name's Rob from robcoven.com. Thank you very much. <laughs>